Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see what is the logic behind pinned classes and where this particular pinned class instance will be saved. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. Let's get into the topic. So, what is this pinned classes concept? Generally, we work in an application and we have n number of classes, but uh, we want to access few of the classes uh, very frequently and every time we can't go for the app explorer and type all the class name. So, that's why like uh, how we have favorites uh, or bookmarks in browser like that Pega has given a concept called as pinned classes here uh, beside a class you can see this pin icon so you can see for all the rule type of class you can see pin icon just if you give this pin it is added see and if you want to unpin it you can do it otherwise there is another way that is like here you can see edit if you give edit and here you can give whatever class names you have suppose uh, i have uh, this class name as endorse archive and i'm just submitting it see you can see this and if you want to unpin directly from here you can unpin it so this is uh, what uh, pega has given uh, to make uh, developer life a bit easy so what is the logic behind this flow action or this one is if you hover here this is like adding to the pin class normally uh, suppose this is my operator id so in this operator id if you go here under system pages on application they uh, here pv preferences one uh, page will be there under that page you can uh, see this respective uh, pinned classes now i will pin a class here so now we have pinned this class let's go to the operator id dot py preferences so this is system pages this is operator id under your operator id you can see here pv preferences in this pv preferences you can see pinned class list this is pv pinned class list ignore the path that i have told before so this is operator id dot pv preferences under this pinned class list so here this uh, particular class uh, is added to our operator id so every time you log in this particular pv pinned class list will be loaded along uh, with your operator id so that's why you won't be losing this uh, pinned class list uh, what every time when you log in this particular list will be loaded so this is the main class is that save uh, pin class in operator this is final and internal group you can see like uh, first view there are two scenarios see this is unpin this is pin uh, okay okay as we have already they added this so this is pin and this is unpin so we would be passing uh, whether it is a pin or unpin here it is uh, saying like if action is pin it would be executing this and if not it would be executing here so nothing like uh, we would be doing obj open by handle of our operator id and we would be adding that to our py pinned class list under py preferences so this class name we would be adding and uh, we would be saving this and committing our operator id this in fact makes our job more easier and if you want to unpin it you can do it so this is the main logic behind it and if you want to more explore more on this you can see this is the section name under this section this is the pin class uh, list as it is a required for all the classes it would be under repeating dynamic list of the classes that are there so from here also you can access the activity 
and see they are passing the action as uh, pin that's why we are able to pin this if it is uh, already pinned then we would be having an option to unpin it so this is all about this pinned class list uh, like you have to remember this particular uh, activity and uh, the operator id pyware preferences clipboard page thanks for watching thanks for watching this video hope you like this content please subscribe to my channel click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this youtube channel